sure she will be more than happy to uh, talk to you on that. Okay, we have Wolfgang Falk here again this morning. How are you doing, Wolfgang? Very well. You're doing good. And you want to talk about uh, uh, Resolution 40 this morning. Uh, Wolfgang is running for office. He is also he is running for uh, uh, city council and also borough. Yeah, both seat C. Borough seat C. And uh, so you're running against Tammy Wilson, right? Well, that's right. Yeah. 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 Okay. I forgot all about that. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Okay. Now there are a few more people, but anyway. Um, but well, we want to talk about uh, some some very serious uh, uh, rural resolution 40. Okay. Yeah. Um, the the problem. Let, let me just read this. Okay. Um, it is. The Fairbanks Nostar Bowl is. It's actually a question. Is the Fairbanks Nostar Bowl uh, 1,200 annual membership fee costing partnership in the International Council for Local Environmental Initiatives Climate Resilient Community Program? That's a mouthful, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Let me read that again. International Council for Local Environmental Initiative Climate Resilient Community Program. Is that an unlawful treaty pursuant to the Constitution of the United States of America, Article 1, Section 10, that mandates and in permanent part that, now here quote, no state shall enter into any treaty, alliance, or confederation. Now, what we are doing here with that resolution, you know, actually we pay $1,200 a year, and it doesn't even come out, you know, but uh, openly. But what we are doing is we are getting into a partnership of an international council. I even don't know who that is, who says all about it, uh -huh. on a local level, you know. And, uh, of course, it's a state, and just well, this is a war. It's a war is a subdivision of the state. We have no authority under the United States Constitution to do that. And um, but this is what's happening all over the country, you know. And people don't take them to court, and I think we should. I mean, this is the responsibility. What do you have a constitution for if you don't enforce it? Mm. Yeah. Well, you know. Um, if something like that would have happened in Germany at my time, when I was over there, that was treason. And the penalty for treason is death. Mm -hmm. you know, these guys should be put on the wall and just gunned down and face a machine gun or whatever. It is so serious. I mean, it is really serious. Um, so what, what, does the, what does the organization stand for? What, what well, is the it purpose is, of it? Well, it, I don't know, you know, okay. Well, you have, in that resolution, you have, um, this is basically what it is. That's a headline. This yeah, is exactly right. exactly what we are, we are going in. It's right here in that resolution. And it doesn't come out uh, when they talk about it. But they say, well, it's a climate change, and, uh, and we have weather conditions that are more favorable now because it's warming up. On the other hand, we have permafrost melting, and uh, so we have to have tell the people, you know, that we, we cannot build here and we shouldn't build there. And, you know, water is coming up, so a low-lying area might be flooded and, and all that kind of stuff. But we do say that anyway we don't have to we don't have to join an international council a council but you know resilient what does resilient stand for can you give a quick uh, uh, what, what do you think what that means no um there's there are many words for it the one i like the best is unbendable in other words once we come into that program and we make it, uh, and we have to Resilient. come up with a plan, and that plan it needs to be implemented. It cannot be changed. It cannot be bent. I mean, you cannot even do anything with it. And uh, that's all international. In other words, the international whoever, whatever, whoever's in there, they, they dictate us how we run our little interior Alaska. Uh -huh. And but this is just a, they are saying there are seven 
members. And here, if we joined, we would be the eighth member and come up with that plan. Okay. So that was just coming. But it is so un-American, so, so un actually anybody, you know, other countries too, they have uh, certain individual freedom to do what they wanted to do. No, this is international dictatorship. And we pay them a membership fee of 1,200 bucks a year. I think the first year right now is exempt. So we get in there for nothing for, uh -huh. for the first year, but then 12 on the break. And uh, then they say, well, it's just a program and NASA is going to give us a lot of money to, to implement this. And who's, who's really pushing for it? It's the people that get those grants and it's all political. And the people that testified for it at that hearing were university people, you know, with the center for this and that and the other, they would directly benefit from it. So this is something that uh, that uh, the people are voting on? or No, no, it has already. It's passed already, now, it's passed now, already. Right. okay. Not only that, I mean, it was all criminal. That's another thing. Uh -huh. See, um, I didn't find out about this till the, the, the fellow that uh, introduced it is Luke Hopkins. He's a president, the presiding officer of the assembly. Uh -huh. And um, uh, with the blessing of the mayor, you know, and uh, on behalf of basically the university. Now, I didn't know really about that uh, till he came on television on uh, Channel 11 on on, uh, on Friday, Wednesday evening. You know, I just seen him there. And he was talking about uh, some kind of a resolution uh, to, to the effects what, what the climate warming has here in Alaska. You know, that, that was about it, what he was saying. And I just said, well, what kind of a stuff is that, you know, and I check it out. So I went to Thursday morning um, over to the, to the ball assembly, and um, I'd find out oh, the nice thing is they have friendly, nice people that help you there, you know. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, she, she, she gave me the resolution, and that resolution was introduced when? On the same day, on that morning. Uh -huh. 9.13.07. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, um, I looked through there real quick, you know, and then I, I spot real quick words, you know. I, I used to be pretty good in speed reading. I just pick up some words. And the words that stuck out um, right away, which, which was a red flag, was uh, uh, commit to participate in the National Council, Sicilian, implement an action plan. You know, those words it just stick out, and I just said, well, I gotta say something about that. And I asked her um, if I could sign up for the, for the public hearing or anything. She said, well, you could have three minutes on issues that are not on the agenda for adoption, but for, for other things, you know, that, so I could have three minutes. But um, I said, I wanted to do that. It was about 10.30 at that time, and she said, well, no, we don't put it out till 12 o'clock. 